Hello, welcome to AJ Cadwall Plus tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your project to start framing your walls with Wall Plus quick and easy. So first off, there are few prerequisites needed to start using Wall Plus. These can be saved to your project template that you use and reuse in later projects. It takes a minute or two and it is one time work. What you will need is to create wall types to define the wall framing structure and schedule templates loaded. This one is optional as you can create your own ones if you like. After you do these, you can save the project as a template and reuse it when you need. After that, I'll design a house which walls will frame. I'll talk more about what next steps you need to take to go further with your project. So now, I will start a new project with the default Revit template. I will choose this one default construction template that came with Revit installation. As we have our project opened, we can start with our wall type creation. There are two ways to create your wall types. One is by pressing wall under architecture or structure and going to edit type or you can find the corresponding wall type in project browser. Wall type configuration shows configuration of your framing structure which will be linked with wall plus framing configuration. So I want to create two wall types for this presentation. One for exterior walls another for interior walls. So I'll duplicate this wall type and name it as wall framing exterior. I'll leave the function as exterior and go to edit structure dialog box. My exterior wall consists of main frame as structural part, nailers and sidings on exterior side of main frame and sheeting on interior side of main frame. So let's create these layers. We need to change the structure function for these for accurate wrapping. and move them to corresponding parts of boundaries. We need to change the structure function for these for accurate wrapping. Then let's set depth of these layers. I'll go 20 for sidings, 50 for nailers. I'll leave my main frame at 200. and 20 for sheeting. After that, let's set material for, for these layers. I'll make all of those as wood layers. Different layers should be set with different material. These materials came with this template, so I'll choose from what this template has to offer. You can set your own materials and save them in a template. Let's set them. After we've finished, I'll create a wall type for interior walls. Let's duplicate this. Let's 
set the function to interior, go to structure, and I'll have only sheeting, the structure and sheeting in this particular wall type. Let's set thickness to 20, structure to 150, and let's press OK. As we've set wall types, we can import schedule templates which we prepared for you. You can modify them to have prepared schedules for your newly created projects. To find schedules, you should go to insert, insert from file, insert use from file. You can find your schedules by going to your C disk, program data, tools for Revit, choose version you want to load your schedules into, I'm using 2014 version. So I'll go for that, choose the library according to your units you're using and load these files to your project. After everything's done, we can save this file as a template and reuse it whenever we'll have a new wall framing project. That concludes this part of tutorial.